Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to Sneaker Stories. As always, I'm your host, Chris Jack. Today, one of the more hyped Air Jordan 1s to release, at least this side in South Africa, the Air Jordan 1 High Hyper Royals. Are they worth it? Let's find out. All right, so the Edge One One Hyper Royals, much, much hype around this, literally in the name of the coloring of the shoe. Uh, there were insanely few pairs as usual when it comes to Jordan One Highs here in South Africa. The shoe released for 2,799 Rand at places like Shelf Life, Archive, Shesha, Sneakers, that weird place in Durban that no one knew about, Hype Online or something like that. But regardless, obviously a lot of resellers got their hands on these pairs. The live raffles were absolutely insane. 800 people. I don't know if you guys saw my story on my personal Instagram page at Chris Jack. Uh, if you want to give that guy a follow, um, then you'll see just how many people uh, were there. All for like, I think 12 pairs of these in the live raffle. That's excluding the online raffle numbers, which I'm assuming would have been similar. And I'm assuming that would have been the same around Archive and Cheshire as well. So extremely limited numbers. We're used to this with Air Jordan 1s. There's always going to be a lot of people trying to get them. There's always going to be ridiculously high resale prices on those. Are they worth it? Do you know what? Honestly, for me, it's a nice shoe. It's a nice colorway, don't get me wrong. Materials, really not that special. And I kind of grade Jordans like based on like softness of leather and just like that premium feeling you get. I don't really feel like you're getting these with them. In fact, I think like this shoe over here, the patina is a better quality shoe than what you're getting on the Hyper Royals. But I digress, it's not really about my opinion to get into the review itself, show you guys around the shoe starting with the outsole. You've got this beautiful flat gray over here uh, done completely tonally through the standard Air Jordan 1 outsole. The midsoles they've kept completely white with white stitching throughout and then as mentioned in the upper. The materials here, they're interesting. It's kind of similar to what you got on the Turbo Greens which have obviously fetched really crazy prices in the aftermarket um, and you know, kind of didn't originally and then they kind of went up. So this is one of those shoes I think is like riding on the coattails of that shoe. Um, you've got beautiful hits of smoke gray here. Now this is quite a nice piece of leather over here in and around the top of the heel collar and the swoosh of course, and that's done in a smoke gray. But then the rest of the panels are just these kind of like iffy, pleathery, kind of flat white panels. Like in the toe box section, in the sort of mid panel over here on both sides of the shoe. For me, it's just like, mm, am I gonna pay like more than 10,000 Rand for the shoe? Nope, that's honestly my answer to this. Like, I, I understand like people want them, people love the color of them, but for me personally, like I wouldn't be paying resale for the shoe. But moving on with the review from a lacing perspective, a set of flat white laces provided in the shoes when they come, obviously not laced all the way up. And then in the other shoe, you've got a set of these kind of royal laces over here, uh, just to add a little bit more darker blue to the top, make that pop on the laces. I think both options would look really nice, but with the white ones, I would definitely be keeping those in. Those blue laces match up with the tongue tag coloring over here, which has just got the Nike Air logo on. Uh, and that's obviously stitched into the standard nylon tongues that we're used to getting on Jordan 1. So no real change up there. Uh, from an interior perspective, they've continued with the smoke gray coloring over here. Uh, this is just a standard mesh. It is quite nice and soft, but it's nothing like this sort of nylon-y mesh that you've got in Biohacks. Uh, you know, some of these other pairs, the J Balvins. Kind of just looking around here, the tie dyes, the silver toes, all of these pairs have that like new kind of satiny finish. This kind of goes back to the just the standard kind of mesh. Uh, so if that was a big difference for you, then yeah, that's a change up in this one. From a box perspective, standard Nike Air Jordan box, the black and red of course, uh, no change up to that, but that would be expected. Now from a sizing point of view, it would be my recommendation to take true to size in this pair. Um, I haven't actually tried, full disclosure, a true to size UK 9 on. We've only got this UK 6 here that someone's brought into Story Cape Town, so that's the one we'll be using to check out today. Hence, there's no on foot for you, unfortunately. But yeah, overall speaking, I mean, the Hyper Royals for me are just another Jordan 1, like overhyped Jordan 1. 
um, that we get from time to time. But as I said earlier, like don't get me wrong, like it is a great shoe, like I wouldn't block it. I'm not like salty that I wasn't able to get uh, a UK nine for myself. Like if I did, I'd probably get it, but I probably wouldn't like end up wearing it that much because it is light colors and that kind of thing. We're going into winter here, this side of the year. So there's also that, which might be swinging my opinion. But as always, these reviews are for you to make up your own sort of mind on whether you like the shoe or not, and just to give you the information of whether uh, they are worth it for you. But that is it for this review of the Air Jordan 1 High Hyper Royals. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Once again, sorry there's no on foot for you today. I just don't have a size to do that for you guys today and definitely can't fit into a UK 6. But if you did enjoy it, found it helpful or informative, please do me the favor, give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe right here for more content, unboxings and reviews like this down the line. But that is all for today, guys, and the Hyper Royals. I'll catch you on the next one.